quick video showing how to use the, the categories functionality in, in SharePoint Online Wikis. Uh, the first thing to note is that this feature uh, is available if you're using an enterprise wiki uh, in, in SharePoint Online. Uh, if you're using a, a, a wiki uh, page library, then this isn't available. Uh, but if you're using the, the enterprise wiki, uh, then you can certainly avail of this. Do remember that you can have multiple uh, enterprise wikis uh, in your, your, your SharePoint tenant. Um, now, how it works is when you're, you're editing uh, a page, a wiki page, uh, you just go to the, the page uh, area on the ribbon, of course, click on edit. Uh, you can then edit your, your page. What you can do is here in the categories, you can type in the, the category. You can select from a predefined value. Okay, so if I type in MOU, for example, uh, you'll see that uh, I have type ahead here because these values have already been used. Uh, but what I can also do is create my, my own values dynamically uh, as well. So it's like a, it's called a folksonomy rather than a taxonomy. Uh, users can actually create uh, entries on, on the fly here uh, as we're working through. So I can put in additional categories on the fly. So for example, a uh, demo uh, as, a, as an example, uh, training. Uh, I can put in uh, perhaps uh, Irish mountains, for example, as maybe a, a, a tag like so. Uh, and once we've done that, what you can then do is simply go back to page, save, and that will then save uh, the, the wiki page with the relevant categories, as well as saving the categories that I've, I've just created uh, as well. Why is that useful? Well, if I then want to go into, for example, uh, one of these other pages on my, my wiki, so I'll go into Sleeve Donard here, for example, in the same way, I can also edit that page as well. And at the moment, it's only categorized with, with mountains, but I can also put in, for example, uh, Irish mountains, uh, for example. I can type in Sleeve Donard as well. Uh, and you'll see there, Irish mountains. I was able to, to use type ahead because it's been defined already. Uh, Sleeve Donard, I'm actually just creating here on, on the fly. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Nice and easy uh, to create uh, these, uh, these, these tags or these categories uh, for the, the pages themselves. Where can they be used? Uh, well, when you're actually uh, on the wiki page itself, uh, if you then click on, for example, uh, this category of, of mountains here, what that will do is then show me all of the pages on my wiki, uh, which uh, are, are have that category, okay? So you can see there I've got four pages on this really simple uh, wiki here. It's only four pages on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's letting you see that any of the, the pages that are tagged with that category uh, are returned uh, as, as part of that search. If you're wondering where the, the tags themselves are, are actually maintained, uh, where they're maintained is if you go to the site settings uh, at the top right and go to what's called the term store. Uh, so the term store is a, a standard uh, SharePoint feature. In term store, under the, the site collection set of terms, there's a, an option here called wiki categories. Uh, if you scroll down through that, there you go. There's the currently defined categories that I have uh, within my, my wiki pages. Um, some of these have been created on the fly, as you saw during that, that brief demonstration there. It's also possible uh, through this to, to actually uh, create structures. Okay, so for example, uh, if I wanted to uh, perhaps move more mountains to under Irish mountains, then I can do that. So I can actually move the term and choose where uh, I wish to, to move that to. So I can put that under, uh, for example, Irish Mountains there, like so. And there you go. We've just updated uh, the, the, the taxonomy uh, itself. So it's hopefully, uh, as you can see there, pretty pretty straightforward to, to manage uh, and maintain this. Uh, it is a pretty powerful feature. You can, if you wish, restrict it so that users can't enter categories on the, on the fly. So you can uh, eliminate the, the folksonomy uh, functionality to... Uh, reduce it to being a taxonomy. A taxonomy is more tightly controlled uh, and you can only use the values that have been predefined. But I think for, for this kind of thing, for wikis, uh, the, the folksonomy approach where users can define their tags uh, on the fly as well as using pre-existing tags uh, is, is the, the, the best option. Just going back to my, my homepage here, uh, if I go back to the, the, the root uh, of my wiki, um, the only other thing I wanted to uh, mention here is that you also have options in SharePoint Online to actually give each page a rating. So each user 
can can give this page a rating for example so i'm going to give this a, a five star rating because i think it's great uh but if i go into any of the other pages you know as, I, as i'm working through uh let's browse through mountains here there's all my mountains uh what i can then do is say okay well actually for slave donard I'll maybe give that a, a four star rating, for example. So you can see there, you can vote these things up over time uh, and, and get feedback uh, on the pages themselves. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense uh, in terms of how the, the categories uh, are, are used within, uh, within SharePoint online wikis.